My name is Mark. I play the role of Mick Mars in Wrecking Crew, which is a Motley Crue tribute band here in the Motor City, Michigan. Now, uh, I get asked a lot, you know, how do you play this? What are you doing here? What kind of gear are you using? You know, yada, yada, yada. It is Sunday morning. I figured while everybody's sleeping, what better excuse do I have to pull out my guitar here and uh, play some rock and roll, share a few things with you. Hopefully it helps. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do, take your guitar and tune it down a whole step to D. So even though when you hit that instead of an E, it's going to be D. For the sake of my own confusion, when I play a G chord, even though we're technically tuned down a whole step and it probably should be F, I'm still going to call it a G chord. So the song we're going to be playing right now is from Motley Crue's Girls, Girls, Girls. And this is the title track. Always goes over well. Everybody loves it, especially the ladies. And come on, that's the whole reason that we play guitar to begin with. So uh, unless you have a motorcycle, you're going to have to make your own motorcycle noises, whatever. And that's going to take you into the G chord. And then that takes you into the main theme riff which doubles as the chorus and yada, yada, yada. Now to play that, what you're gonna do is on the fifth fret of your A and D string, you're gonna take your first finger and bar that. Then you're gonna use your third finger, same A and D strings, up at the seventh fret and bar that. Back to the fifth, open. And then with your second finger, go to the fifth fret on your A and D, bar that. Half step down with your first finger, open. Same two strings. The whole riff is played on your A and D strings. And then resolve on your E. Now when you play it, you don't pick every note, you kind of roll them off. So it's a... Now to end that first part of the main theme there, you're gonna go and hit on your high E and B strings, low E, so it's at that point, the second go around, you're going to take your first finger on your D string, second fret, second finger on the third fret, third finger on the fourth fret of your low E string. So, that's the main theme, and it doubles as the chorus. Now when you go to the verse, the chords are A, D, and E. So you resolve after the verse. That whole part. Now the D and E, you don't play the full, the full chord. What you're doing is taking your third and pinky, at least that's what I'm using, and you slide up to your seventh fret on your D and G strings. So when you hit the A, up to the E is at the ninth fret. So. Now for that, what you're doing is an octave, take your first finger at the fifth fret of your A string, and either your third finger, I use my pinky, on the seventh fret of the G string. And there you have your octave. I use my first finger to kind of mute the D string so we don't get that in there, and just half step back. Fifth fret, fourth fret, fifth fret. And then that takes you right into the chorus, which is the main theme. Now when the chorus goes up, girls, 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 you're going to take that same pattern and just move it up a set of strings. So you're on the D and G strings now. Back 
to a verse. Now, when it goes to that little change there, have you heard the news? Or whatever he's singing. It's kind of like an old Chuck Berry. But a little, played a little slower. What you're doing is you have your E power chord, your fifth chord. Use your third finger at the fourth fret of your A string. And when you're playing that chord, it's just a... Then you go to a C sharp. Now what I'm doing here is I have my first finger barred across the fourth fret. Then I take my third finger, play the fifth, my pinky behind it playing the octave, and when I hit that, I can go up. So. Now that next little riff, what I'm doing, is, is based off of a C sharp minor. So when I hit that, I just move over, first finger is barring the G and B strings at the fourth fret, and then on the B string, with my second finger, I do this. So, and then slide up to the seventh fret on the B string. To the E. Back to the G. Now there is an overdub there where he's hitting the octave on the, or not the octave, the harmonic at the fifth fret of the D and G. Taking you back into the theme. So if you're, when you go back to that Taking us to the last verse. So once you get through all that, now there's the part where they kind of ad lib. They're like, hey, Tommy, check that out, man. What Vince, where? Yada, yada. That whole part. What you're going to do is the guitar's going. <laughs> that whole part. Now, there's, there's a part where it's. So when you hit that theme, instead of going to the E, the bass is going to ride that out you're gonna come up and do a unison bend in your E minor pentatonic. So your third finger is gonna be at the 14th fret. And I always put these two fingers behind it to give it a little, so I can control the note better, give it more uh, you know, strength behind it. Pinky is on the B string, 
of at the 15th yeah 15th fret sorry and so you're going <laughs> And that little is just on the G string. You're ending with a little shake on the 12th fret there. And then you move up again, just like in the chorus. Now you're in the A. So your third finger bend is at the seventh fret. Pinky is at the eighth fret. So back and forth, you're going to go playing the whole riff into where the solo is. back up to your uh, E minor pentatonic here and that's where it kicks into that now where your lead comes in I use my third finger and I do a bend at the 15th fret and that's where you come off with the whammy bar so you're gonna go And then with your first finger at the 12th fret, using your third and pinky, you're going to alternate pick between your 14th and 15th fret. So after the bend, something like that. So you're going... And then go up to your 22nd fret on your E string, and that bend, that's where you hit the And then when you slide down to close it, you're going to be going, I use my second finger, you're barring at the 12th fret your D and G strings. So it's... 12, 11, 9. So when you come out of that bend, you have to end with the you know whatever but that bend starts again at the 22nd fret bend up down 21 19 17 and just kind of So that's how you're going to close it. And there you have it. The way I play Girls, Girls, Girls. I hope that helps you out. If you dig it, please subscribe and thank you for watching.